Okay, today we're going to be showing you how to change the oil on a 2009 Yamaha R6S. So to get started we're going to take this lower panel off here. You're going to need a number 4 Allen wrench and you're just going to take all these screws holding it on. Now that our fairing's off, what we're going to do next is pull this little cover right here that's covering our coolant reservoir. Which is going to be a number 3 hex head. And then these hoses will just slide right through there. Next thing we're going to do is take the coolant reservoir off itself. So first thing we'll pull this out. And then we'll get these hoses out of the way. Then you'll see the two bolts right here and here that we're going to need to remove to remove this reservoir. So to remove these two bolts you'll need a number 10. Alright, so we've re removed that coolant reservoir which gained us access to our oil filter. Before we take that off, what we're going to do is drain the oil itself. You can see the drain plug here located on the bottom of the bike. Um, if you can't find an oil pan that fits under your motorcycle, you can just get one of these cheap disposable aluminum cooking trays. So we'll go ahead and remove this bolt. And that's going to allow all the oil to come out. Alright, so while our oil tank is draining, we'll go ahead and take our filter off. So, now we'll go ahead and install our new oil filter. You can see it's got this o-ring here, we want to take just a little bit of this old oil and lube that up so it seals good. All 
Alright, and now we can also go ahead and install our drain plug back in the bottom since it's done draining. So now that we got our drain plug and our oil filter back on, <clears throat> we need to service the oil. The manufacturer recommends 10W30, and it's going to take about 2.75 quarts, so uh, you'll end up needing to get 3 quarts of oil. So we'll go ahead and remove this cap right here, and we'll fill her up. Alright, so our filter's been changed and our drain plug's in, we've gone ahead and serviced the oil. We've made sure we don't have any leaks from either our filter or our drain plug. So now we can go ahead and start reassembling the bike. So we'll go ahead and reinstall our coolant reservoir. Put our cap back on. Then we'll go ahead and reroute our drain hoses back through here. Now we can go ahead and reinstall this uh, cover for our reservoir. Go ahead and insert our drain tubes through the bottom of this. And lastly, we can go ahead and reinstall our fairing. Alright, so we've taken our bike for a short little 10 minute ride and uh, ran it through all the gears. The last thing we need to do is just check our oil level now that the oil is warm and the engine's been running. So we'll pull this little dipstick right here.
All right, and according to this, our oil is full. Uh, if it's low, just add a little more. Other than that, you're pretty much good and ready to ride.